What's well, good, y'all? I'm back again with more BSI fun on TikTok. Let's get to it. Hi, guys. This is a tutorial on how to make a guy look like a creep at the gym. First, I like to set up the barbell in the free weight area directly in front of my victim wearing tiny shorts. Then I start doing RDLs for him to see that pussy fat and grab his attention. I'll then stop my workout, turn around, and confront him about perving on me, making sure I'm getting all of this on camera. Next, I'll green screen my video and talk about how I feel violated and then post it on my social media so I receive comments from other girls saying, go sis. See you next time. When you take the chance to go after your dreams, when you take the risk, sure you may fail, but what if you fly? What if you succeed? What if you do greater than you could? If she told me it's a private show, I made her feel things she never felt before. She like you when I split it up and go slow. Yo, you never know what's under the tights that these girls wear in the gym. You never know, man. It might appear that they got a flat stomach, but as soon as that shit come off, whoo! Behold the fupa! Appreciate her for being real, you know what I'm saying? And because of social media, we have all these unrealistic standards, man. Some of these female fitness influencers, they do too much sometimes, man. <laughs> Check this out. It's like, if you work out like me, you look like me. If you eat like me, you'll look like me, which is not the case, by the way. I don't do that because I don't want the focus to be on my body. I want to have the focus be on my performance, the quality of movement, and the education that I'm providing. Cause I think when it comes to like female fitness, if they show more ass than they need to, I think they're gonna attract more of a male audience. Cause you know the males, they don't. It's just pretty much a thirst trap to them. Cause girls know the power of their sexuality, they know the power of their bodies. But when male influencers want to bring in more attention, they do some crazy shit like this. Like, what the fuck is that? That's not even necessary. You will never see anybody in the gym do shit like that. But this is what they gotta do to bring in them views and them clicks. All the women gotta do is just show the ass. But the men have to be ninjas and wizards and shit. Hi guys, come train abs with me, even though the camera will be pointed so far up my ass you can see what I had for breakfast. I start off with a candid shot of my ass drinking water, then purposely bend down for you to see that pussy fat. I then do one ab exercise to pretend that this is what the video is about, and after I will sit and pretend I'm sweating. At the end of the video, I will unnecessarily grab my tits to pretend to show off my abs, when really I just want you to see that they're a handful. I'll then give you one last look at my ass and walk off. See you next time. Yeah, there are gonna be women in the comments, but who do you think is really watching this shit, man? Men are watching this shit. Scrolling on TikTok, beating their meat to this, man. Because if I'm scrolling, I saw this, I'll watch, but not for the reason you think I'm watching for. I'm watching for the ass. I ain't watching for no workout tips. Can you explain what an incel is? So an incel is just like someone who is involuntarily celibate. That loser sitting on Reddit for 23 hours a day um, with cheetah dust and empty Mountain Dew cans all around them. She dead ass describing herself right now. And it just has a real stank smell that is involved with these people. Because I'm just gonna page you an image, and like the fedora is a little yeah. crusty, and the the beard, the, the neck beard is strong, but the facial hair is weak, and there's a bald spot in the back, and you could just and you can just see the fedora. Just it's crazy how vivid of a description she has for male incels. Well, wow, she's probably the description of a female incel. I think they call them fem cells. But now you never know, man. Men will literally insert your penis in anything. So she probably getting dick. And this next video will show that there's two types of people on this planet, man. This guy did a 1,000 push-up challenge in public to see how people would react. As he continued, people began to mock him, pretending to step on him and kick him while doing the challenge. But some people were supportive and began to join him doing push-ups at his side. And as he continued, people kept messing with him and even sat on his back hoping to mess him up, but he still wasn't stopping yet. People even began kicking over his water bottle and were mad at him for doing this. He was getting exhausted, but sometimes people would come over to motivate him to keep pushing. And finally, 1,000 push-ups later, he completed the challenge after 55 minutes of hard work. Just an observation, you see it was mainly the women that were like harassing him and shit. They were sitting on his back, kicking his water bottle over, calling him names and shit. And it was mainly the men that was motivating him to keep going. But this video just goes to show you that in life, you will have your haters and your supporters. It's balanced, man. If you get a lot of love, you probably get hate too. 
All right, and if you think you have it bad, check this video out, man, of people in Africa cooking mosquitoes for dinner because they don't have any source of protein or any food to eat. One of the world's most unpalatable foods, mosquito burgers. Each mosquito burger contains about 500,000 mosquitoes and is said to have seven times the nutritional value of a regular beef burger. During the rainy season each year in Africa, massive swarms of mosquitoes appear around Lake Victoria. How dense are they? There can be 1-800 mosquitoes per cubic meter. God damn. Just waving a frying pan in the air, you can coat the bottom of the pan with dead mosquitoes. This it's a lot of damn mosquitoes, mosquitoes man. causes great distress to the local residents. In their long-term battle against mosquitoes, they invented these mosquito burgers. Due to a lack of protein in the daily diet of local residents, and considering that mosquitoes are rich in protein, they capture a large number of mosquitoes, then press them into the shape of a burger. Afterwards, the mosquito burgers are fried in a pan, looking black and unappealing. How do they taste? Once the mosquito burgers are ready, men start to enjoy this delicacy with their children. What are your thoughts on this? No seasoning? Bro, he put no seasoning on that burger. Come on now, man. You black! Where the seasoning at? Where the salt, pepper, where the fucking paprika? I mean, who puts paprika on burgers? Like, it already looks unappealing, plus no seasoning, man. But this just goes to show you, like, when you're hungry, when you're starving, you are willing to be resourceful in any way, shape, or form. So if you ever think you have it bad, it could be worse. So be grateful for what you have, man. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Now, here's a video of a dad making fun of his child. Let's go. Big girl. You gotta get the other one. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. I can't help you. <laughs> this man laughing like he's been planning this moment since the day she was born, bro. Evil villain ass laugh, man. And why did he get more villainous the longer the laugh went? <laughs> Is villainous a word? Hey Siri. Is villainous a word? Okay, it's a word. I know it's a word. You know, you, you know sometimes you just be saying some words because maybe your mind picks up on it from somewhere and you're like, I've never used this word before. It's somewhere in my mind. Like stupendous. And this next video is why I would be suspect if my girl wants to go to Miami for a girl's trip. One, two, three. Show the camera. <gasps> They took a girl's trip to Miami and ended up being single moms. It's crazy, man. Crazy. You should not be putting yourself in those situations if you want to be in a committed relationship. That goes for men too, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. When I was in a relationship, I went to Miami and there was so much temptation around. Lick, especially when alcohol is involved. You should not be in that environment when you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I'm going to take you back home. home. I'm going to take you back home where you can uh, get yourself some cup noodles or something. You want to take me home? Yeah, I'm gonna take you. Home. I look like this you in your car right now, and you want to take me home. Like, why did I always say look like this? She looks normal as hell. <laughs> There's nothing extravagant about the way you look right now. So now we're not going on the date because you don't want to pay more than Starbucks. Oh, it's not bad. It's, the money's no option. So if money's no option, then why aren't we going on a date? <laughs> like an actual date. <laughs> this video fake as hell, man. This video fake as hell, but let's pretend that it's real for a second. I always say this, if a girl really wants to hang out with you, if she really wants to be in your presence, she is very high interest, she will go on that Starbucks date with you. But me personally, I would not take a girl to Starbucks for the first date. I will probably go to a coffee shop instead. Like a nice relaxing coffee shop with a good vibe. You get some coffee and we just talk and chill. But if Starbucks is all you can afford and a girl is just not down with that, then she's not the girl for you. Let's move on. What is your body count? Ooh, mine's what, in the 40s, but who really gives a f at the end of the day? She got a list, though. I got a list. People break my heart. I use it for motivation. I'm like, f you, your dick wasn't even that good. Do you need some more motivation? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your body count? A little higher than 10. What's the chances I can make that 14? <laughs> well, I'm kind of like off men right now. I'm taking a break because 
I gotta do me. When you're done doing you, can you do me? <laughs> These girls out here just like, just saying whatever on camera. Like they don't know that your future boyfriend or husband might potentially see this. But let's see what my African brother gotta say about this. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. Now, a lot of way, come on, man, chill. It's not that serious, bro. It's, it's not that serious. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Chose me. He don't want you. He chose me. Manny, Manny, boo. I know what y'all thinking, and I'm not gonna say it today. Let's be nice. What makes a guy easily unattractive? He don't want you, Kohba. It's like she was being passive aggressive with her friendliness, bro. It's like she wanted to murder him and show him love at the same time. It's just like a marriage, bro. So, like, what's your type? I love dark skin, man. You said you like dark skins? Let me see if I can hook you up with somebody. Let me introduce you to my friend. He's a perfect example of a dark skin guy. Fashion. He's not my type. What you mean I'm not your type? <laughs> <laughs> Why do my guy laugh like that, though, bro? I'm in my soft girl era. I'm trying to have a soft life. Mm hmm. That means I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not arguing with niggas. I just want to relax. I just want to travel, mm -hmm. raise my kids, have a good time, laugh, don't do no drama. I'm a mother, no drama. I love that. This is the type of energy that men like. Peaceful, nurturing, soft. So I stand by the soft girl era that's been blowing up recently on TikTok. I stand by it. She, I love, a, I love me a soft girl. Now it's no longer independent women. It's all about soft girl era. What is you know? what is a soft girl? Maybe I'm just too damn old. Soft girl. <laughs> <laughs> so the soft girl era is this era where the women are in their femininity, apparently, okay. where they are doing the bare minimum for themselves and waiting for the men to come and take care of them now. Interesting. That's okay. what the soft girl era okay. is. Because women got too masculine with the feminism movement, and I guess the scales are tipping back. Now women want to work less. They want to be more feminine. They want to to come in so it's, it's it's balancing out man and i like the direction where it's going in horny ass bastards i ain't gonna lie man i'm a horny bastard too that are working on themselves and they are seeking out assistance in their journey and they are getting bolder in their evolution if you do not mean these men well stay the fuck away from them don't be fucking them up don't be tempting them with that pussy leave them alone let them heal because a lot of women be using this spirituality consciousness cosmics whatever whatever's to, to get some dick y'all be coming in all oh, blessings king um you know highest praises king i see the god in you all because you want some dick and then when he break your motherfucking heart, then, you know, niggas ain't shit all over again. Nah, he was just a king, remember? Remember, it was just whole tap ble blessings, king. Ha blessings, king. You such a god. Then when he dozed through your motherfucking ass because he ain't ready for that and you keep pushing that pussy on him. And your heart broke the fuck up. Get off of him. Don't be bashing him. Leave him alone. Yeah, man, once, once you learn how to control your sexual energy and not be controlled by sexual desires that's when you become really powerful and to be honest guys i'm still working on that to this day i'm still working on that man and if you're working on it too let's motivate each other let's get this shit under control man let's do it yes sir let's get back in command of our sexual energy man because that's some powerful ass energy bro what kind of customer service is this um this is the number two right yes um i meant to say number three i don't want this and um yeah, can you change that to a number three? Matter of fact, um, a number seven. Number seven? Well, that's the oh, number three, you pick one. What you mean I pick one? You just ordered the fucking food. Excuse me? Bro, you heard what I said, bro. You about to call, bro. I got time for your shit, bro. 
What kind of customer service is this? What you want, yes or no? Is this what you want? This what you paid for? This what you about to get? I want a number. No, I, I want. What you want I to want get. a number. This is what you paid for, so this is what you're gonna get. Here, I got, I got your fanner right there. What, here. And I don't want fan. I want, I want fruit punch, please. You want fruit punch? All oh, fucking will. You finna get what the fuck I made and what the fuck you paid for? Oh my god, what kind of customer service is this? What kind of customer are you? Oh, I just want to. Well. No, I'm gonna just just give my money back. Your money back, lady. Fuck your money. Here, get this. Get this drink. Here you go. You have a nice day. <sighs> oh. Honestly, man, this is the definition of I don't get paid enough for this shit. And if you guys ever worked in fast food, you have some of the worst customers you will ever see in your life, man. Because I worked at McDonald's back in high school. And there have been some disrespectful ass customers, man. That made me just want to quit the job right on the spot. I'm not gonna lie to you, because back then I was getting paid $7.95 an hour. Imagine doing all that. At McDonald's, I was a janitor, I was a cook, I was a customer service rep, and I was a cashier. Getting paid $7.95 an hour. So I was willing to quit that job whenever! You know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, that's all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace out.